and welcome back YouTube. This is Booster Box Buster here with an Andrew Virju Chapter 7 Booster Box Recap. This is the third Booster Box that I have ever opened of Chapter 7 from Andrew Virju. And it was a lot of fun. Uh, I have to admit, this box actually turned out pretty good. Going into this box, believe it or not, I was missing two uncommon cards, which is very unusual because uh, pretty much in every set prior to this one I have pulled every uncommon card in, and pretty much in the very first box that I've ever opened from each set. So, very unusual to miss an uncommon cards. Without further ado, let's get into this recap. First, I do want to share with you these two cards, which are the two uncommon cards that I was missing. I did happen to pull them, so I was very excited about that. The first one being this very lovely uh, image of Venom666, just kind of goofing around there. Looks like she's setting off some sort of virus. Very mysterious, very uh, cautious character that you want to be around. And this other one is a very, very lovely image of Slay in her chair. Uh, looks like she's just kind of masterminding, masterminding some sort of scheme. She seems a, she has a very uh, villainous tint to her. So those were the two uncommon cards. Now let's move on to the rare cards. First up, we have a very lovely Sayori, with the ice cream cone there. Sakuya, with the, with the uh, cherry blossoms. Miyumi with the cherry blossom background. Uh, Kurukita, I believe is her name. Very uh, interesting character. She has this very powerful umbrella that almost looks like a lampshade. One of those old-timey lampshades, which I find very interesting. Unfortunately, they never made too many cards of this character. Sophina with the cherry blossom tree. Rosalie getting getting herself ready for the day. Arusamiru in combat. Siam, this character seems to be kind of like a information gatherer type character. You know, you come to them for information. Very cool. Flora in the garden. Uh, Zienna under the cherry blossoms, very cute. I like that one a lot. Penel showing off some of her skill. Penel drilling right at your face there. Would not want to be on the receiving end of that drill. Euphelia. Uh, this character's name is Dish Saparugi, I believe? Something very similar to that. Uh, at least that's what it translated to. It, I could not get a very clean translation on this character's name. She's at the monitor there. She seems to be some sort of uh, armchair general where she's kind of doing all the stuff from behind the scenes. Very cool. And then in this one we have Mayuka offering a river engine there, a bite of her rice ball. Maybe she wants to play rice ball roulette, very cute. And the final rare we have Mayuka uh, having her tie straightened by Aga, very cute. All the rares were duplicates but I was not missing any regular rares so I was expecting them to all be duplicates. Now on to the reverse hollows, we have this very lovely image of Koto with the cherry blossom background. Aoi in the dojo getting ready. Aoi seems like a very uh, no nonsense type person. Flora in the flower garden. Ruby taking a nap in the cherry blossom tree. Pinnell coming right at ya. Euphelia. 
I don't know the name of this character, as it is an AC card, so unfortunately I do not have a clean translation of, of this one. But it looks like they have some sort of sword and they're fighting off fireballs, which is pretty cool. And the super rare reverse hollow of this box was AOA, and that is a great one to pull because this one, even though the game is no longer active, is probably the most expensive reverse hollow super rare to pull out of this set, so very, very cool. Now, on to the super rares. First up, we do have Shinobu, regular super rare. I did not have this one, so this is a great pull. Up next is Rosalie, regular super rare. I had this in the reverse hollow super rare, but not the regular one, so this was another great pull. And the final one is Slay. Unfortunately, I did have this one, but for green characters, I don't mind having uh, duplicates because green is my favorite color from the game. So this is was a great pull. One of my favorite character designs of this game, so to me, having a duplicate is not a problem at all. So overall, I consider this box a very, very successful box. This is Booster Box Buster with an Andrew Virju Chapter 7 Booster Box Recap of all the rares, hollows, and super rares. Signing out.